Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here. Let's take on Reggie Gigas. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. We're just gonna go up and talk to him. It was—it looked like we were just gonna walk up to him and say hello, sir. Zoot zoot. There's who says zoot zoot? There's like someone who says that. Oh, that it's like the. It sounds like the mouse in Cinderella. That's what it sounds like. Is slow to get going. So what do we need to do now? Oh, we're just straight up fighting him. Is that what we're doing? We're just straight up fighting him. So it looks almost like an agile one of them would have done it. Oh, now it's a, now it's another Zen headbutt. Okay, so this is his thing. He's just really powerful. You're just a big guy. Who are you? You're a big guy. Maybe Zoro then, if he's going to be doing stuff like Zen Headbutt. I, I thought that it'd be some sort of thing. Like, remember in Heatran, we had to like throw the throw the junk at him or whatever. I'm pretty sure I can do like one leaf blade on him without killing him. Yeah, there we go. That's actually quite good. And then an Ultra Ball. I thought it was going to be some like gimmick thing, you know, like the like the Lords of Cinder bosses or whatever. Nope, escaped from the ball. Nope, Chuck Testa. At least Giga Imp. Oh my god, Zoro, you were you survived it. Now we get to try an Ultra Ball twice. But apparently he's just really powerful. Do you remember that really cool like um Dynamax Reggie Gigas battle that you do in Sword and Shield? That was so cool. Like that Dynamax Reggie Gigas battle is class. But the um no, he escaped from the ball. This is just going to be a hard battle, I think. Is it? I'm so glad Zoro survived one of those. We need to, like, revive him. He must be revived. Metal Bat. What I'm afraid, I, I, I might actually have to start playing a bit more conservatively. If, can maybe, like, a weak bullet punch? Will that kill him? I hope not. It mightn't, and it will give me, like, another turn. Okay, that's really good. What was I talking about? I was talking about, like, the Reggie Gigas battle. Well, no, this is the start of the battle. This is the start of the video. It really doesn't feel like it. Like, two minutes in, two and a half minutes in, we're catching Reggie Gigas. Genos, that was your first, uh, I know that was your debut as a Lucario. You did a good job. We got the blank plate. A blank slate. I was saying you're a big guy. That's what I was saying for you. Now that was one solid Pokemon, like a giant born of the very earth. I guess this is just part of your job with the Survey Corps, Dr. Crane. Oh my god. Yeah, whatever. We've decided to find her charming, says Adaman. One more plate left to find. Okay, well, look, let's just get out of here. <laughs> I didn't even want to come to this area in the first place, but it turned out to be, like, a really fruitful trip. Um, the, uh, so, yeah, the, um... What was I saying? I was talking about I was talking about the holiday. Um, it was really, really nice in the end as well. It was just exactly what I what I hoped it would be, which is just a nice relaxing a nice relaxing Sunday drive. I need to like learn that quote. You know in like um in AVGN, the that Sunday drive it's in Action 52. And he's like, a nice relaxing Sunday drive, speeding at 100 miles an hour down a four-lane highway or something like that. It's just like, he sounds so, an, obviously angry, he's the angry video game nerd. He sounds so angry when he's like, a nice relaxing Sunday drive. <laughs> it's just hilarious, there's something hilarious about it. I want to return to the village. Um... It's just funny. It's it's just hilarious. Just like it always goes back to ooze. I, I'm telling you that um, that Action Fifty Two video is just like un un unbeatable. Like it just can't be. It just cannot be stopped. It's so good. Let's have a look at these like Zoroark because I know I was talking about like maybe using using Zoroark in a in a video, not in a video in on a team. 
Like, they're pretty serious contenders. And that, like, actually, that could be... See, I don't... The, the thing with Zoroark is that they're... Aren't they just as good special as physical? Aren't they one of those ones? So, actually, like, the one with the, um... If there is one with, like, a neutral nature, that would be quite cool. Do you know what we're gonna do it? Why not? Where's the one with the... That's the one. The last one I caught. The one with the neutral nature. We're gonna go for it. Why not? And it already has some, like, good stats in there as well. So, what'll we take out? Do you know what? We've seen, like, a lot of Zoro recently. We'll trade Zoro for Zoro Arc. Um, we've seen, like, Zoro has been kind of carrying the team quite a bit. And I think now we have some more, like, powerful Pokemon that we can, like, sub in instead. Um... Why are you up here instead of Hermit Purple? So, I guess... I wanted to go to the Coronet Highlands, didn't I? I guess that's where we'll go. Oh, and I need to name Zoroark. That's what I need to do. Um, What do I need to... Where? Oh, well, first let me see the Lost and Found. Yeah, Rick, Lionel Richie's Lost Satchel. 97 merit points. Great. <laughs> Just what I always wanted. Um, I wanted to, oh, I named Zorok, and I already know, I, like, as soon as I, like, thought about it, I was like, this is the name. Say hello to Kaneki. No, not Kaka. No. <laughs> Even though, like, sorry, but, like, Tokyo Go Ghoul Re, like, the second one, like, the second manga series, like, part two, it was, like, it's probably, like, the greatest disappointment in my entire, in my entire career. Like, it's just, it, it's awful. Like, I didn't even finish it. Like, maybe I should try it again, but, like, it's such a shame because the first one, like, part one, like, the, the, the first story or whatever, like, the regular straight-up Tokyo Ghoul is fantastic. Like, it is so good. I, I'm not, I'm ignoring the mass outbreak. I'm just going to the, to the Coronet Highlands now. <laughs> I'm just going here. <laughs> the first Tokyo Ghoul series is so good. I remember I read it almost in entirety on like one of those one of those holidays where I read an entire series. Um, oh, now we need to get like Badu happy. Now Badu needs to become friendly. And when it becomes night, we need to go to the Fabled Spring. Um, but you want to know what I'm going to do? This might be, like, a good opportunity to catch Crobat, because isn't there, like, an... I, I remember there being, like, an alpha Crobat in this cave. So I'm actually going to go ahead and go in here. Because, like, that's... An, like, th those are those ones that I'm, like, worried about. Those, like, which I'll probably end up catching as alphas. Oh, wait a second. Let me just pull the blind down. Because it's dark in here. Not gonna be able to see shit. Those are those are the ones that like for completing the Pokedex. I'm kind of apprehensive about like any of the ones where I have to um, where I have to evolve them based on some some alternative method other than simply like leveling them up. I definitely remember. Well, there's a Gold Bat. I think. Do I need one of them as well? The, um, like, like, Crobat is one of them. Like, as I said, like, Overquill, like, Weird Ear. All of them, they have, like, that weird, like, that, that method of evolution, which is, like, oh. Oh, my God. Well, look, let's give Kineki a nice, like, little test drive here. Um, the, the, uh... Like, like the, the, those ones that evolve based on, like, oh, use this Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Where did he come from? Where did he go, Cotton Eye Joe? He just, like, came out of nowhere. He came in, like, a wrecking ball. I, I honestly, I don't know whether I've caught this guy yet or not. So, uh, I might as well, like, try. Like they've started getting like really weird with their with their um with their evolution methods lately in in Pokemon. Like I remember from, and I think that started really in like, like you had like a few isolated 
isolated uh, isolated examples. So do I have one of them already or not? Nope, that was the first one. Okay, good. Oh, do, do I have you? I think I do have you. What level are? It's a. It's a. No, that was me being shiny. I thought that was the. I thought that was the the thing. <laughs> I thought that was the, uh, the, the, the whatever, jibble, gibble, what's a little. I thought that was him being shiny. So yeah, like, they, there are a few isolated examples, like the Shedinja. Well, there, sure enough, there it is, the, the Alpha Crobat. If I could, like, catch it without battling it, I'd be really happy. Oh my god! <laughs> he still hasn't seen me, the rube. The, um, I don't think he can, like, come in here. If it's like a Jurassic Park movie or something. What I'm hoping is that maybe he turns around. Was, like, Kaneki still inside, in, like, a wing ball there? And then he, like, traveled, like, at 2,000 miles an hour? That's what it looked like. Just leave me alone, please. <laughs> Why can't I fight you? Let me, all I want to do is fight you. Holy crap. <laughs> like, you had, like, Shedinja, the way, like, Shedinja um, evolved, which was, like, really bizarre. Um, this is bad, okay. Sorry, Kaneki. <laughs> and then you had, like, um... What's the octopus one? The, uh... No, let's not do that. Let's not do that either. The Tsunade literally is the best option I have. Let me use ancient power. Um, maybe use a... I'll just use regular ancient power. The, um... The, uh... What was, I talk what was I even talking about? Oh yeah, the, the squid thing, whatever it's called, Malamar. Malamar is that's good. The uh this is really bad. Why is it getting so many like attacks off? What the hell? We're down to Andromeda Shun and Genos? Well no we're not, it's just like everything is like everything is gonna eat shit against him. Go with Metal Bat again. The uh like a weak a weak iron head I really don't want to like kill it if that's my problem here so you had like that squid Pokemon as well Malamar like you had like the way that that evolved um and then you also so so and then like I feel it was in Pokemon Shields that you started getting all these really bizarre methodologies for evolving Pokemon being more widespread like, you had the, the, whatever it's called, Runerigus or whatever, like that one, which was really strange. You had, like, Farfetch'd evolving into... What, what was your attempt? What were you attempting with that, might I ask, my good sir? Well, he's getting something out of it. The, um... The surf or surfetched evolution as well was like another odd one. I'm gonna try like another like bullet punch, like a fast bullet punch. Or maybe just like a regular one. Can I just do like a regular one? Yeah, that's good. The um and, and then I think in like Scarlet Violet they just went ballistic with all of this crap like they like in Legends Arceus and Scarlet Violet They just went crazy like they were just like, okay Well, what how many other bizarre things can we think up for what the hell is that over there? Is it wish cat? I think I have wish cash I feel I think I have one of them already I'll catch him anyway if I can no, I won't. <laughs> no, no, I won't! <laughs> like, all of this stuff, like, oh, use this attack 20 times to... Use this attack so many times, like, die this many times in battle, like, I don't know, like, stuff like that, and it's just... 
it's just bizarre like it like it, it's just so like esoteric or whatever and that's what i'm worried about with like completing the the pokedex in this that's what i'm worried about with completing the the pokedex in this region is that or not in this region in this game is, is those pokemon like as many of them as i can just like get out of the way those ones with strange like evolutionary methods like like friendship even in this game like i'm not I, is, is a pain in the backside but um like if i can get them out of the way i'll be happy Let me just get some of this crap out of here as well no, don't do that because it organizes it all weird. It's like, Pokeballs, they're not very important. Pokeballs in a Pokemon game, who cares about them? Um, the, uh... Oh, it's my... Oh, it's my... The, these two with their May-December romance. The two respective bitches of the... Of each clan... Cresselia? Yeah, I've heard of a Pokemon called Cresselia. The, um... The, uh... So, yeah, they just went crazy. So, if I can get, like, things like... Things like Basculegion and things like that, or Weird Ear as... As, like, a... An alpha Pokemon or from a massive outbreak or something like that... I'll be happy because then I don't have to do stuff like oh use this move ten times or something like that in a in battle. Oh poor Electrode, Melly is such a such a, a diligent warden. Yeah, lunar feather, whatever. Pesky flying croissant. I almost dropped my croissant. I almost dropped my Cresselia. It's snowing up here. So is this going to be a gimmick battle, or is it just going to be like Reggie Gigas, where I just walk up to the thing and fight it? Whoa, no, it's, um, my controls are reversed, holy crap. You're not going to be very happy soon enough. There we go. <laughs> I was like, this is weird. I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> like, I was like, what the hell is going on? I'm just gonna shadow ball you. I'm gonna falcon punch you and then I'm gonna falcon kick you. <laughs> gonna falcon kick you. <laughs> Do you get a second attack now? You're such a bitch. Seriously? There was no need for that, Cresselia. Um, uh, what do we do now? We can, we can use Genos and Crunch. Genos, Genos, the all new Genos Crunch. There, like, I don't know why that is in my head after all of these years. After all of these years, that Meatloaf Crunch song from the Amanda show. Like, all I remember, do you remember, like, they had, like... Do you remember on, like, the Amanda show you used to regularly have, like, oh, this is a, uh... Like, like, like a sketch that was like, oh, this is a commercial for something, like a cereal. Like, I can think of two that are for a cereal, actually. One of them was Meatloaf Crunch. And I remember, like, they say, like, meat, loaf, and then the guy is there in a big meatloaf costume. And the song goes, like, meatloaf, meatloaf, the all-new meatloaf crunch, or something like that. Like... I don't know why that's in my head. Just like I never forget. Just like it, it, what's etched in my memory as well is the snap, crackle, kaboom ad from the Amanda show where Drake Bell looks like a fake person. Like Drake Bell looks like a cartoon character and he like makes this big goofy smile and goes like, well, you can't see what I'm doing anyway. Just look it up. Like, I don't know why that like image of him is so etched in my memory. He just doesn't even look like a real person. He looks like a mannequin or a cartoon or something. Like the way they have his makeup and hair done. The great and powerful Peridot. Melly really is like the Peridot of the diamond. <laughs> the Peridot. <laughs> okay, head back to Kogita's retreat. Seeking the remaining plates. Okay, fair enough. Whatever. <laughs> Return to Kogita.
Return the slab. That really is what we're doing. We're doing return the slab. Um, like, I think, like, I think for Electrode, all it is is the, um, for Electrode, all it is is get the, uh, for Electrode, all it is is a Leaf Stone, which is nice. I feel like the, like, the evolutionary stones, like, they just, like, there's so many of them from Gen 1, like, they were used a lot. Like, the, the evolutionary stones, like, were used an awful lot in Gen 1. And then, like, never ever again. In, like, not never ever again, but some of them, they're just not used very often. Like, you had, like, in Gen... See, Gen 2 introduced the two new ones, so then they were like, oh... Or the, the one new one, the... What are you? Oh, you're Bronze War. Ugh, I do need to catch Bronze on, but I'm just like, I'm not in the mood. I'm trying to get to the Fabled Spring in case I can see a Cleffa. The, um, and catch and pick up a few medicinal leaks while I'm at it. The, uh... Jeez, what, what the hell? I can't, like, rem I keep forgetting what I was talking about. Well, there's a big surprise. I'm gonna have a heart attack and die over that surprise. All I'm trying to do is make my way back to the fabled spring here. Oh yeah, the evolutionary stones. I think I caught a golem already. I think I caught one during, like, one of the... In the obsidian field lands in the massive mass outbreak there. The, um... So yeah, it's like when they introduce a new one, it's like, oh, they don't want to... When they introduce a new one, it's like they don't want to, like... They focus on that or something, and then they don't, uh... They, and then they don't, like, introduce any new, uh... New Pokemon that evolve with the old ones or something. Because you have the same in, like, Gen 4 when they re when they introduce, like, the Dawn Stone and the Shiny Stone. It's like it was all about the Dawn Stone and the Shiny Stone all of a sudden. Are we almost at, like, the Fable Spring? This, this is the way to the Fable Spring, isn't it? Yeah, but I shouldn't be crossing the bridge. There's apparently an area here that we've never been in, of all places. I need to, like, explore that because there could be, like, a, a wisp here. I'm troubled by the fact that I haven't found any wisps at all. Is that Clefa or Clefairy? So Clefairy I don't need, but Clefa? is quite rare. There's one. I'm pretty sure that was Cleffa. Yes! Oh my god, that's so good. I was worried about that, and there's like... Okay, Clefable, let's catch that as well. I was worried about Cleffa because like the baby ones are kind of more rare, I think. So what am I going to fight this guy with? Like, do I have any... I suppose, uh... Genos. Oh, you just had to turn around right at the last minute, didn't ya? The, um... This is going to be normal effective, isn't it? We can bullet punch ya, and then we can falcon kick ya. So they did, like, they did include, like, some more, they did include, like, some more, like, stuff then, like, some more Pokemon, like, later on that evolved, like, in Gen 3, they were like, okay, let's add, like, one more Water Stone Pokemon, and one more, uh, one more Water Stone Pokemon, and one more Leaf Stone Pokemon, they added, like, um, Nuzleaf and, and Lombre or whatever, and then they, um, then they added, like, Delcashi with the Moonstone in Generation 3. Um, but, like, they, they, I feel like there are certain ones, like the, Th well, the Thunderstone, they added, like, one or two as well, didn't they? It doesn't, uh, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for Metal Bat. Is Metal Bat really what I should be looking for? Probably. Um... 
But if you look at like if you look at if you look at like evolutionary stones like Pokemon that evolve using them, like you'll see that most of them are from generation one. Like generation one you see Moonstone. How many things evolve with the Moonstone in Generation One? You have like um Nidorino and Nidorina, you have like you have Jigglypuff, you have Clefairy, like, you have so many things there. And then, like, after that, you have, like, one, Delcatty. What am I doing here? I actually want to go back to the... I just want to, like, go, go, go home. Well, no, I want to go to this, like, area that I've never explored for some reason. Before we, before we finish up here. That's what I'd like to do. So Clefa and Clefable, that's two good Pokemon off of the list now. So this is probably just some, like, one of those areas that has, like, um... That has, like, an alpha Pokemon at the end of it. Or maybe a Wisp, actually, for all I know. Or just a rock. That's also a distinct possibility that there's just, like, a rock here and nothing else. That's really why I came all the way out here. Um, but yeah, I find like they've got like... It, I feel like they've almost gone too far with like the odd methods of evolving Pokemon. Like V-Bass was another example actually of those like strange evolution methods. I, I can't see like the, the camp. <laughs> I can't see the camp. The um... Like, I feel like they've just gone crazy. It's like, can we not just, like, have Pokemon level up or use an existing method anymore? I do like that they're, like, going away from trading. Like, I understand why they, like, put, like, a big emphasis on trading in, like, Gen 1. Because it was a big part of the... It was a big part of... of what you were trying to do. Like, what big, big, like, selling point of the game is that, like, oh, you get this, you get this, um... You get these Pokemon, your friend has those Pokemon, they're version exclusives, you trade them, you know, it's... Um, and I'm glad that they've, like, moved away from that. I'm glad that now, like, a lot of the trading evolutions, it's just, like, an item that you use. I really like the idea of the linking cord to, like, finally kill that whole concept. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for watching this part of Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the next part, we're going to go and talk to Celine and get another star rank. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and go visit uh, Cynthia too. So, bye now.